Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific, <laughs> so whenever you come upon it, I, I see you. Um, if it speaks to you, it could be your message at that time. Welcome all cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, Leo and I welcome you. <sighs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a handful. Um, anyway, do keep in mind this is a general, not a private, so it may not resonate for everybody. Always best to take what speaks to you, leave the rest. And I do offer private readings, though, so if you're ever interested in that, there's always a link in the description box below each video that will take you to that information. Okay, I am pulling from Cosmic Journey Oracle to activate the reading. Card 24, Synchronicity, is a love letter from the universe across time and space. Yes, Synchronicity. Maybe there's some synchronicity finding its way to you, Capricorn. Pay attention. Check the mailbox for love letter from the universe. All right, guys. Um, my little man is all of a sudden out of his nap mode, so... If you see a little dice and splice in the video, if he gets too out of hand, which is just... <sighs> yeah, you're about to hear the crash boom. If I have to take him upstairs, I hate to do it in the summer. It's so hot up there. Yeah, well, Leo, that's not meant for you to climb. Anywho, I'm going to pull my Twin Flame Soulmate spread. Um, I'll give you my general impressions, tell you the positions of the cards. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go, Cap. Okay, so your shared energy um, in this connection is with regard to either some deep reflection, possibly some healing, but at the very least, a quieting of the mind. Um there are some shifts and changes happening, but it's almost like it's time to sort of press pause for a minute and reevaluate. So I'm, I'm seeing the Four of Swords more reflective um, than anything else. Here's why. Because, and remember, the energies can come through reverse. That's fine. I always forget to mention that in this spread. But it's true with really any spread. Um, because we're doing general readings here on this platform, um, we're generally um, tapping into the energy of those of you watching. And there's lots of cross-watching going on. So do keep that in mind with all readers here. Um, you're showing up with your experience being the hanged man. So either feeling like you're kind of in the matrix or that something's sort of growing stagnant or maybe you just need to kind of, like I said, push pause and evaluate the situation from the 30,000 foot view, yes, but also from within. Um, your person, their present experience here is the death card. It is an opportunity for growth, change, and transformation, but they, they are aware that something has to change. And, you know, for them, it's usually something that is a, well, for anybody um, that has this energy presenting in their reading, it is about usually um, something within ourselves, something that's holding us back, something that isn't serving us anymore, a pattern, a behavior, a thought process, a, a perception, right? So I'm not seeing ending here, but I am seeing a need to release something that is holding this person back. Um, your karmic challenge is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, it is about sort of zeroing in, focusing on creative solutions to any problems. Your person's um, karmic challenge is the Eight of Cups. Interesting that you both have eights, and it seems like their karmic challenge is if it isn't working the way they think it should be, they're out, right? So it's, it's a little bit more about releasing what's within this person that's getting in the way instead of just saying, well, this isn't working for me, so I'm out. That's what I'm seeing because the opportunity for the two of you here is to choose the path forward. Yeah, that armoire is about 10 feet tall. <laughs> anyway, the two of wands, the opportunity to, you know, decide what you want and what path will likely get you there. 
Um, and then the divine guidance coming in is the Knight of Wands. So this could be talking about the patterns on repeat or something that cycles in and out. Um, it could be the person themselves or it could just be a cyclical nature where you kind of um, um, both act on passion in the moment, but then there's really no plan to take things to the next level. So you're being guided to press pause. They're being guided to sort of release things um, that are in the way. Oh my God, it scares the heck out of me. And each of you are being called to sort of stay put and focus. Okay, here we go. Four of Swords. Yes, Five of Wands. Like, what's the cause of the conflict here? What is it that's unsustainable or that has been unsustainable? I am feeling with the Wheel of Fortune there, the power and presence of Jupiter, which has just moved into Gemini. So that's got a whole different flavor. Um, than it has been in Taurus for over a year. So it feels to me like there is some bones of contention between you, some conflict or tension or outside source of interference that has a tendency to kind of, you know, um, you build it up, it falls down. You build it up, it falls down. That may be part of this in and out um, feeling that I'm getting. But, you know, Jupiter, the wheel of fortune, um, is about not just divine timing, but fate and destiny and sometimes karma pointing to the solutions to the problem. Okay. Let's see the hanged man. Hierophant, the star. Wow, we have three major arcana and an ace of swords. So this is a big deal for you. This is about... Um, you know, your desire, your wish, your hope for commitment. And there's something that you need to see clearly that may be eluding you. It may just kind of be that, you know, you're looking for it, but it's like hard to see the forest for the trees, if that makes sense. And with the Ace of Swords, Aces are gifts from spirit. It's some form of clarity or information or a truth that might need to be revealed for you to have a better understanding of what's presently happening and how it might impact your hope or desire for um, commitment in this connection. Let's see the death card for your person. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Wow. This person really knows that if they want, uh, if they want your love, and they do, um, they kind of have to bring in a legitimate offer. That Ace of Pentacles can be referencing a new beginning. And since we have the tower for some of you, it might be about that. Um, but I'm feeling like this person knows that they, they want something different now. They want to take something to the next level. Um, but there are probably things in the way. Uh, holding them back from that. So I do feel this person is in a phase of growth. Um, I'm feeling it pretty strong. And, you know, this is where they might normally just quit and throw in the towel. Uh, but now it looks like their present experience of this connection, the path that they are on individually, is one of, um, you know, turning over a new leaf, releasing things that don't serve them inviting in the change that's needed a part of this person or their behavior or their patterns or their perception sort of has to die off so something new can be born into its place i like that and you're over here reevaluating, reassessing but maybe losing some of the details so let's see the eight of pentacles for you which is looking at the details is which is it seems to me that that is a well virgo is more detail oriented but capricorn too all the earth signs really are this is your karmic challenge oh okay so not surprised to see an, a, a bit of a mirrored energy of, right? Uh, can we work this out or should I just move on? Um, is this something worth working through? I, I, just want, I just want the peace of mind. I just want to get beyond this. 
So there is a little flavor that you're mirroring something for each other in your karmic challenge, which if you're true twin flame, that's the whole point is we're brought together, you know, to sort of help each other work on a shared mission. And it feels like this is the point where you're going to have to really call in um, what you desire and operate more in a form of leadership, guiding the work that the two of you need to do. So you can both move beyond those difficult moments, um, find the creative solutions to the problems um, instead of kind of uh, getting frustrated too quickly or um, not really giving the situation the time and attention that is needed, it, you know, things that we focus on, sometimes we have to focus on it over and over and over again till the light bulb, the proverbial light bulb comes on. So that's what I'm seeing here. Um, eight of cups for your person and their karmic challenge. Mm. Wow. Sometimes you just need to, you know, to seek forgiveness. Um, this person definitely seeks a second chance or wants a second chance, sees you as, uh, at the very least, a past life soulmate, someone that makes them feel super comfortable and at ease at home in the connection. It's a beautiful connection and there are possibilities here for something more committed. Um, the Four of Wands to me is the beginning of that, right? And it feels though that this person's karmic challenge is pushing through the reconciliation that might be needed. Um, the judgment card is Pluto, right? Lord of the Underworld <laughs> and karma. Uh, I don't know, it just feels to me like with Pluto in the house for this person, it can feel like um, things, get, you know, only only grow so far and then they come tumbling down, right? So we kind of have to try again. And this is second chances and redemption. Um, and it, what I feel this person's challenge is, is staying in, in it long enough for some kind of change to take uh, root and then show evidence of being the right change that was needed in the moment and instead they just maybe give up a little bit too easily question mark question mark let's see the two of wands for the opportunity here yes take that first step um this is about the path forward and the fact that it it's just we we cannot this figure, let me just get my thoughts together. This figure is looking out on the vast expanse of horizon before him, holding the, the globe in the palm of his hand, right? So what's that all about? It's like in a world of possibilities, what do I want? And that can be really overwhelming, right? That could be really overwhelming. So I feel like the opportunity is just take the first step. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And you know, and you gotta get beyond your defenses and resistance due to past hurts and heartaches. So the opportunity is stop resisting, right? And just eat the elephant one bite at a time. Recognize that you don't have to have all the answers. You just have to have a general idea of what it is you both want. Wands are always about desire and passion and inspiration. And it feels to me like you're getting close to getting on the same page because you're working on the same similar issues right now as part of your karmic challenges. So let's look at divine guidance is the Knight of Wands. Right. All good things take time. And so divine guidance is saying, um, It's not about, you know, getting the answer real quick and then deciding to stay or go. Um, there is a tendency here for a little bit of avoidance, escapism. I'm not seeing it as anything other than that. 
Our Knight of Wands has a pattern of being in and out, but the good news is, is when you're dealing with Knight of Wands energy, that's fire energy, that's fire, it's passion. It's, you know, you, you kind of have to have the passion to get things started, but then be curious enough about the process to allow it to unfold over time more organically. And that Seven of Swords underneath is really just a reference to what plays out behind the scenes for each of you is this tendency to either want to, you know, blow past the work and, and have an easy, quick fix or avoidance, right? Um, and or shortcuts. It feels to me like what I'm looking at here is this connection is ready for an up leveling. And it demands more of each of you. And so I love seeing you working on the same thing at the same time. A little bit different, you know, for each of you, but a general theme. And how you're sort of kind of, you're taking this big view and this person's sort of starting to zero in on what they need to change. And that's lovely. Um, and it will change the direction. It will change, like turn this wheel of fate to move in your favor, um, provided you both invest the time needed. Okay, so that is what I have for you here for this part of the reading, Capricorn. If it's speaking to you, if it's making sense, if it's helpful in any way, please join by subscribing below. Um, click the little notification bell so you don't miss the reminders of new uploads. And I'm gonna give you the astrology, but I'm gonna go on to the extended and I wanna see what's happening with this person. Um, and I'm feeling like we already have them showing up with uh, the death card. So that's their present energy, so to speak. So I want to look at what are they processing behind the scenes? Um, how do they see you at this moment? What are their intentions toward you in this connection at present? I'm also going to look at the hidden energies and their message to you. So it's a little teeny bit of a twist on the normal um, extended, but it's perfect for this uh, particular reading. So the links to that are below. Here we go. We have um, Jupiter, as I said, in the Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. The Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. Um, Hierophant is Taurus. The Star is Aquarian Energy. The Death Card, Scorpio. The um, Lovely Empress is Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra, Queen of Cups. The Empath of the Tarot there is um, Cancerian energy. Queen of Wands is Aries. I love that we ha have love and passion for the two queen energies. As I said, Pluto in Judgment, which rules Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in the page of um, pentacles sagittarius in our knight of wands and gemini libra aquarius in the page of swords right curiosity killed the cat as they say Shh, i shouldn't have said that that loud so yeah we we, we want to kind of stick it out for the long haul okay no escape hatches here for you capricorn that's what i have for you i'm headed to the extended now i'll see you there in a second bye for now